What's up everyone? Welcome to Austria and welcome to this video where we going to check out the Balkan. So, as I said, all the time, all the time, every time I'm starting a beep 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 beep. Come on, man, I wanna. Right now, we are in Austria, exactly in Bad. What the Bad Gastein, which is a very nice uh, little village or town um, built into. Oh jeez! Built into um, the rocks like the cliffs and all that stuff and there's a waterfall and I'll show you and we have to go cause it's so annoying with this guy and his chainsaw! <laughs> Fuck the fucking thing! Ah, Let's go! Hello! So, another place, another time. I think the, the sun is... Uh, just a second. Yeah, I'm pretty excited uh, to travel back to the Balkans because, um, you know, the first time when I was there a few years ago, it was just blowing my mind. Oh, look at that. Just so nice. Um, maybe not directly into the sun. It was like it was like blowing my mind. So I always wanted to come back. You know, I don't know why. I'm I'm German and I got no um, um, Balkan blood running in me. Not that I would know. But yeah, I liked it so much because the people on the Balkan are so nice and uh, the countries are so underrated. Long story short, we are going together to the Balkans and I'll take you with me and if I talk longer, we won't make it out from Austria, never. So let's go on the bike and drive further south. <laughs>
So yeah, I'm still in Austria and yeah, set up my tent for the night. What a peacefully little campsite as you can see next to the lake and uh, right now I'm going to eat a bon appetit. So what is the plan of this trip? Um, actually, I don't really know. At first I was a little bit ambitious about the distance of the trip, but um, yeah, right now I'm um, um, kind of in, enjoying every day and um, all this video stuff is taking very much time of the day. So I think I will stay one night in Slovenia then Croatia, um, Bosnia-Herzegovina, Montenegro, um, Albania and Greece. This would be the countries I will <laughs> I've planned to visit but I don't know exactly if, if it will work out. Mm. Gotta get my beer. Is a, one of the best in Austria. Good morning everyone, slept pretty well, um, it was a very silent night, everyone here is like don't talk. I have to um, like pack my whole stuff and yeah afterwards I think we will hit Slovenia. system is telling me that I should uh, go across the uh, trail from the train and <laughs> yeah the, the road is shut down I don't know since when but it looks like it would be some time so um, there's a little path right here and I don't know where it goes hopefully we come somewhere Let's see what happens.
So now that we are in Slovenia, um, I think it's time to talk about some stuff. First, I think Slovenia owns a big, big credit for its country. Every time I come to Slovenia, especially with the bike, with the motorbike, um, I'm like blown away of the stunning views and uh, these villages and the, and the shape of the country, the streets for, for the motorcyclists, the streets are heaven. Always when you are driving in Slovenia, most of the roads, of the, of the paved roads, are like man that guy who built that road was a motorcycle driver <laughs> absolutely because they're so so good the other thing i wanted to talk about was am i at the balkan right now or not it's a little bit of a tricky question because um the balkan area is not exactly one geographical area um so if you ask somebody in Bosnia Herzegovina or Croatia or Montenegro or uh, Greece or Slovenia or something else, everyone will tell you another geographical part of it. Some of them were part of uh, Yugoslavia, um, but not every um, country. It's not like a geographical thing. It's more like a, I don't know. It's more like a like a hard thing, you know. So for myself speaking, the Balkan begins right here in Slovenia and I would say just let's hit the road and search for something to stay for the night. Welcome to Slovenia and welcome for me, welcome to the Balkan. like 10, 9, 8 degrees, but so good. All right, guys, one more night in the tent. I originally wanted to stay in like a mobile home, um, um, wooden, like these wooden houses but um, there weren't any um, so I'm in the Soka Valley right now <laughs> I'm sorry but I'm starving today I made only 150 kilometers because the whole filming thing is so much time and the other thing today was like five or six um, motorcycle other motorcycle drivers were asking me about my bike and about filming so there was a lot of talking and a lot of filming and so at the end of the day i didn't make much more than 150 kilometers and right now we are at the Socha Valley, which is for me one of the biggest surprises in the last years. The Soka Valley is really awesome. I think it's maybe it's a UNESCO. Um, 
but uh, I'm not sure. Is it recording? Um, it is recording. One more time we eat couscous and I love it. Can eat it the whole day. Nothing more happening today. I'm just eating. Oh, one big thing. One big question actually. Just wait a second. I have to take you with me. The question of the day is which one is better? Union and Lasgo. Had one of these a few years ago and it was crazy good. But I will let you know tomorrow which was the better one. See you tomorrow. Is it okay?